Jim, it's time to get back to work. It is. Are you ready? It is. We have live on the Zoom a woman that I just met, Charlotte Lewis. She is the master of self-love coaching. Now, don't laugh when you hear self-love because I'm all about that. Because, you know, I, I love me some Joe. You, you understand that, don't you? And it starts with, Jim, don't laugh. Because it starts <laughs> with knowing and loving yourself. And I know that because I went to Charlotte's website and I'm on to something. Uh, Charlotte, thank you so much for being here. I know I'm picking on you. Uh, but uh, Center M-E, Center Me is the name of your Center company. Me. Do I have that right? Yes, yes. Thank you so much for having me on. It's a pleasure. Thank you so much for being this. I, you know, it's funny because I asked you before the show, how, how did we meet? I'm not exactly sure how this happened, right? And you told me that you reached out to me on LinkedIn. You wanted yeah, to, to communicate with me. Yes. <laughs> and next thing you know, I invited you on the show. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so be careful what you do. Because I'll take you up on it, right? So, <laughs> if you, Jim, she thought she was networking. Next thing she knows, she's on live radio. Exactly, Charlotte. It's, it's so great. It's so great to have you here today. The cool thing is, is that I'm focused only on results in everything that I do. Problem solving, decision making, all this other stuff kind of muddles things. What kind of results am I going to get? How many strategies do I need to get there? Right, plain and simple. With what mm -hmm. you guys are doing in a compassionate way is helping the women out in the Charlotte region get a better sense of themselves, get more focused. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah. So actually, we are focused on women in North Carolina. We are creating a clear and easily accessible path to emotional wellness and stress relief for women professionals. And this was an idea that came from me um, having my own experience as a professional in the industry, the financial industry, um, just a single mom working all the time. It was almost like I was just picking up my kids, feeding them, putting them in the bed, going back to work. And, and I just never found any time with myself. And then COVID happened. And then I had to really... <laughs> just to be transparent, I had to start a business from scratch right. where I had, it was something that it, I had to do because I did no longer worked at the company that I was at. And this, I had just moved away from Charlotte. So I was in the financial industry, had my series seven, series 66 life insurance, and then when I got to uh, Wilson, North Carolina, the job market was just super dry. So what I was doing as a side hustle, I started trying to build as a full-time entrepreneur. And so even then, um, from corporate to uh, entrepreneurship, I, I continued to find myself in these cycles of burnout, uh, severely depressed, full of anxiety, and see the I, children will do that to you i'm telling you the <laughs> children will do that to you and so whenever i um whenever i i was just like you know i just had this this conversation with the higher power i don't know what your beliefs are but um i was having a conversation i was just like maybe i'm just not being patient enough and so for six days i prayed for patience and on the seventh day i broke every bone in my ankle and I, my life has just been changed ever since you know, during that time, I had to really focus on myself. I was forced to be with myself. I couldn't walk, couldn't, you know, distract myself with work. And so over the next year, I just focused mainly on emotional wellness and how to, how to prioritize wellness in my life so that I could start really actually enjoying the the fruits that come with having a very, you know, uh, high work ethic like I did. And so whenever I had this, uh, I was just inspired so much by my self-love journey that I didn't want to continue with my previous business, which was with uh, hair care products. I was like, you know what? I've been running away from this thing for a long time. I always knew that um, coaching was something that was in me, uh, but, you know, imposter syndrome was tearing me up. And so 
whenever I finally just kind of sat that sat down and I, I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. And so February of last year, I decided, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to self-love coach it up. And so I started building my own curriculum. Self-love self coach it up. I like that. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Char yeah. So Charlotte, um, first of all, I, please tell people the website that they can go to because you've got a free guide on here that I want them to get. So tell yes. us about your website. So centerme.com, S-E-N-T-E-R-M-E.com. And we've actually done some, some updates here recently. So in the website, you'll see that we are switching things up. So we are re returning, returning back to our client discovery process because we have some new things that we want to uh, shift to. And so we uh, are offering an opportunity for women to join our wait list uh, to see what we have coming up soon for our members. We're going to be uh, developing a uh, membership that's going to curate a self-love routine for our members every month. So they're going to get an opportunity to uh, not only get uh, access to our curriculums, whether it be our guides, our uh, virtual classes, our workshops, our Dream Life Essential workshops, um, but it'll also connect them with small businesses in their area in wellness, such as spas, wellness centers, yoga studios, uh, vegan bars. It'll give them an opportunity to start getting out there and getting a really creative in how they are improving their emotional wellness and adapting, you know, stronger stress stress management skills. And so we are basically going to position them for success in that, you know, all they have to do is show up. We're going to offer, you know, discounts and, uh, you know, rewards that are going to really help them to, well, incentivize them for putting themselves first throughout their, their day, so, their week, their month, their year. So, so Charlotte, even though Jim is going to tell you he does more research than me, right? Even though Jim's going to tell you that, when I went to your website, here's what I thought of. And you tell me if I'm, I'm on to something or I'm off of it, right? I thought of women out there really going through a difficult, challenging time. And all they need to do is take one click and they can communicate in one form or another, whichever makes them comfortable, with somebody that's been there and can help them in the moment. Is that a fair um, way to, to look at uh, part of your website? So um, I would say yes and no, and here's why. Because what we do, we offer uh, group coaching, and the reason why we positioned it in that way is because when it comes to what we're trying to do, we want to help women to cultivate a lifestyle that gets them from only seeking wellness and wellness support in the, in the midst of crisis. So we want you to adopt an entire lifestyle change. Right. So I mean, that you don't, you're understand, not, you don't mm -hmm. understand yourself until you understand yourself first. Then you work right. to help others or you can't, you can't do it. What I'm seeing right. is a wonderful niche that you've developed for our women across the area, across the region. I'm very, very Thank proud you. to see what you're doing, uh, how you're, you. you're keeping it real. Can I use that term? You're just keeping it real, yes. which is yes. what you have to do. Yes. And it's important because, you know, what I'm and just from my, my personal experience is, you know, when we get too caught up in showing up for everyone else and then, and then our belief systems start to get tied into that. Our thoughts begin to get Let's shaped by that. She is the founder of Self Love Coaching. Uh, center me. Charlotte, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. Thank you yeah, so much we're, for having we're, me. We are talking off mic a little bit about what are your biggest challenges? And of course, since I have better hair than, <laughs> than Joe does, big time. But you got to tell me how what Queens is and how you, and what what that business is about too. Yeah, so I started Queens Magic Hair because um, that was something that just came natural to me. Whenever I uh, was in college, I was the one doing everybody's hair to <laughs> make money, and so you know when I lost my job right before COVID, that was something that I was doing on the side. I was just making it for like friends and family, and so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna have to do something with this. 
um, and you know, until I can get my next job. And so next thing you know, I started uh, producing it and selling it and started partnering up with salons and beauty supply stores in Charlotte and Raleigh. And, and so it just became a thing. And I, I feel like that first year was what really taught me that um, entrepreneurship was something that I can do. You know, it's women that have nothing to do, you know, nothing on their plate at all. Yeah, right. right. You know, right. I mean, probably slept till noon today. <laughs> Charlotte, what's your biggest challenge? Actually, let me ask the challenge of just balancing all of that. How do you do it? Well, um, my big, so let me just start with my goal. My goal is to be able to um, build these businesses to the point where I can speak on in, on in stages like these and say that I got here by taking care of myself. And so I, I prioritize my wellness by any means. Like for example, I do one to three check-ins every single day with myself. One of them being my favorite walk outside in my backyard. I'll do a few laps in the backyard have that time with myself and whoa, whoa, and whoa, 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 back up. You do a one, two, three checkup. Is that what you said? Three times a day. Yeah. Walk me, walk me through what that is. So in my check-ins, I always create time. We call, time it, we call where... it a personal check-in. Is that what this is? <laughs> a check-in. That's check what in. it is. Nice. <laughs> okay. 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 And so what I do is I'll take time um, and I like to position mine in transitional parts of my day. So um, before I start uh, my day with my kids, getting them up, I'll check in with myself. So I'll take some deep breaths, get myself nice and grounded. And I'll ask myself, what do I need right now? So I address what my needs are and then I, I meet them make sure that that's something that I, you know, lead with my day. And then my midday check-in is when I go outside and walk in the grass and I'll ask myself again, what do I need right now? And staying on top of my needs is what really helps me oh, yeah. to maintain all of the responsibilities and commitments that I have. And so that I'm not, you know, getting to the point of burnout or exhaustion, I'm taking care of myself a bit by always being aware of what my needs are throughout the day. So are these check-ins scheduled in your mind for the day or do you just find time for them? Whoa, no, because if whoa. I... Je Je Jim is over here nodding his head like he knows about the check-ins. I do. You know about the, not, not the, you know the check-ins? You know, my check-in is nap about one o'clock. <laughs> So, but that's listen. So, but if you, but that's the thing. I put everything put in my head, right? Needs, okay. Then that's what you do, that's right? right? That's you honor right. Honor those needs, and that's how you actually build trust with yourself by always meeting your needs. And that's what I was going to say just now. I don't leave it to myself to find time throughout the day because if I left it to me to say, oh, well, I'll do it after I finish this email or after I finish, you know, this meeting, won't get done. it probably won't get done. <laughs> yeah. And so I have to schedule it so that. This is, you know, I intentionally avoided, you know, scheduling anything around these times throughout the day because this is the time that I'm taking out to check in with myself. And then it's most importantly, right before I go get my, my babies from school is when I'm checking in with myself because I, I need to know that I'm leaving everything at work for the businesses with the businesses before I go pick them up because they deserve that one-on-one -on -one time. They deserve that undivided attention. And so I have to center myself before I pick them up with that, that intentional check-in time. That's great advice. Check-in time. I like it. I've never heard of such a thing. I like it. Well, her <laughs> She didn't say nap time, Jim. She your, said your check-in. Te your, your, your temperament is you're an extrovert. You're a detail person. You're a calendar person. You're a time person, right? Are you those things? Yes. Or I Joe, I love Joe to have you say no. A bottom line, take charge, rears digest version. <laughs> you got to whip them into play. And so, for those that plan and schedule like I do too, we waltz into these guys. But you know what? <laughs> Without the leadership they bring in their temperament, we wouldn't be able to be as good as we Charlotte, are with ours. Charlotte, just ignore him. Nobody likes him. <laughs> you, you understand no, that? But, but you know, that's the thing. You know, I to. I had to embrace that part of myself. I used to, when people would, you know, read me that way, I used to be like, no, that's not me. I, you know, cause I used to think that it, you know, it made me boring or something that I loved, you know, organization and yeah. schedule, but I thrive in that environment. You get and more I done. Do I know it's going to be best for me to thrive. 
So you telling me the house has got everything in a place and a place for everything? <laughs> the office has it. The desk is neat and clean. I'm telling you that your mind has after, everything. But so long, <laughs> my baby, they know that things need to start getting picked up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. What advice would you give somebody thinking about starting a small business? Because, gosh, is it a a unique, challenging time? It is very challenging. I yes. Um, the advice that I would give them though, is the advice that I would, I would, you know, that I hold with myself. And this is something that I'm continuing to, to learn and explore on an ongoing basis. And that is to, you know, be as strongly connected to your why as possible. Um, and always be in this, this state of acceptance, right? Because we always want the things that, especially when we have these ideas as creators, we want, we see it and we see it happening. We see it working, but because we don't see all of the different ways that it can, we sometimes get stuck on the one way that we saw it working. And so when you have to just be in a, in this, in this state of acceptance, because everything is not, most of the time, it's not going to happen the way that you saw it and the way that you want it to happen. And so being able to just be grounded in your why, and that that brings this this sense of like a fluid or flex uh, flex flexibility to how everything plan, pans out, and so and just being able to know that without a without a shadow of a doubt, the destination Got is set. What you see is going to happen, but you have to embrace the mystery of the journey. You have to embrace it because that is the only way that you have the endurance, the consistency to keep moving forward. Um, just knowing that the destination is set, and embracing the the mystery of the of the journey. Okay, uh, that's, that's a that's a great answer. So so I'm I'm walk me through what you want the women to get when they go to your website. So what what is it you really want them to understand when they go to the website? I want them to understand that we are here to help them improve their emotional wellness. We are here to help them lead a healthy heart and mind lifestyle um, that is that includes minimal stress, being able to learn themselves, being able to learn how to respond to their emotions so that they're able to respond better to the world around them, being able to navigate this life as their authentic selves and be able to see themselves advance professionally and personally by being emotionally well. And and they can get a free guide if they go to your, to your website. I, I saw that yes. as well. Um, yes, and you like can. doing this in groups. Explain why, again, I know you did it, but I kind of missed it. Why is groups the, the best way to go with this? The reason why I like it to be in groups is because I'm on a mission to I'm on the mission to normalizing the conversation of emotional wellness. I think that because we have positioned emotional wellness to be this thing that we only do with our therapists, it it almost gives it some kind of stigma. Like you have to be in this room on a couch with a person. And, and it's like if we start having this conversation more among other people and we start to see that this is a shared experience, emotions then more often we'll feel more comfortable in our own selves and around other people having this conversation as if we're talking about dinner or something. And so I'm on a mission to normalize this conversation around emotional wellness. And so doing it in groups also uh, plays off of the fact that as humans, we are social creatures, we're social beings. And so we, we actually thrive in community. And so I, I prefer it that way. Um, and, and, and it just makes you feel so much more um, Re relieved when you when you have this experience with other people that you know may be sharing something that you feel emotions that you feel or struggles that you may have experienced in your life and so and I'm always the one that's going to share my experience so at the very least you're going to have one person that's experienced something that right. you've experienced in the group so um so for me that's just something and then also you know that's something that I I wish I had you know I love therapy I I I partner with therapists as well, but um, group coaching is my by far my favorite. We get to do activities and games, and we get to do girl stuff, and so it just it works. <laughs> so, so we, we we don't have we we got less than thirty seconds uh, to do this, but but uh, so this can be anywhere in the country, right? It doesn't have to be in your local area, correct? Uh, as far as our virtual opportunities, yeah. no, yeah. So, Charlotte, thank you so much. I really do thank appreciate. You.
I am thank so you, happy you that you reached out to me. Thank you so much. Let's stay in chat. <laughs> gonna fly. Me too. Fly. Thank you. Charlotte Lewis, she is self-love coach extraordinaire. Thank you so much for being here. We really do appreciate it. You are Thank listening you. to Local Biz Now. I am Joe Vagnone. If it's Monday afternoon, your business matters. We'll be back next week with Jim Bogle, founder of IMU, social media expert. See you next week. I'm going to Burners. The new.